Hi, I'm Jim Hilgendorf. Today I'm going to be reading a passage, a short passage from one of my books, Poems of Death, Time for Eternity. You know, I took this title from Walt Whitman. In 1871, he wrote a book called Democratic Vistas. And in that, he said, quote, in the future of these states must arise poets immense so far and make great poems of death, end quote. Of course, by, by poems of death, Whitman was not talking really about poetry of death, but rather of awakening people to a grander vision of who they were and who we are here in America. He wrote also, in another point, quote, there will soon be no more priests. Their work is done. A superior breed shall take their place, the gangs of cosmos, and prophets en masse shall take their place. They shall arise in America and be responded to from the remainder of the earth. This passage is called Time is of the Essence. Time of, is of the essence. Have you not heard that? The essence of our lives, too, is time. It is a clock ticking and seconds being marked off and at the end, an accounting. Who were we? What have we done? There's no one who will ever note the passing of our innumerable minutes with a gauge of measurable money or titles earned or nations visited, or health, or sickness, or loneliness, or love. There is only one thing we will ever remember from this passage, and that is who we are. Who are we? Did we remember? Did we awaken to another universe where stars hung in our eyes, where the sun flowed through our veins? where we saw each other for who we are, mothers and fathers of everyone, brothers and sisters to myriads of beings, where death was a friend of life, both danced in rhythm to a song filled with indescribable pain and indescribable joy, never ending, and more remembering the forgotten song of ourselves, remembering the name of who we are. Nam yo ho renge kyo.